Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the class 5 topic that is chapter number 1 globes and maps. So let's quick start. Find direction using the sun. Stand facing the sun in the morning. The sun rises in the east so you will be facing the east direction. Now find the other direction C. This chapter deals with the tools of learning geography, maps, compass, etc. It is important to know that maps are the most effective and efficient means of having an overview of the world around us. So it's time for tits and bits. The word map comes from the Latin word mapo, which means a napkin. Geographical maps. A geographical map is a drawing or plan of the earth's surface or part of it showing countries, towns, rivers, population, etc. It is drawn on a flat piece of paper. The purpose of preparing a map is to show things as they actually are. For example, population distribution map shows the number of people in an area, whereas population density map shows the number of people per unit area. So now we are moving to the next part that is scale of map. Map shows the portions of the earth surface much smaller than they actually are. For it, we use a scale. The scale of a map shows the ratio between the two points on the ground and their corresponding distances on the map. Representative fraction RF for drawing or reading a map, we use a scale which is usually expressed as representative fraction. In RF, the units of measurement of distances are the same. Both on the ground and on a paper, it is always expressed as a ratio. For example, 1 lakh is a RE where 1 centimeter is equals to 1 lakh centimeter. According to this RF, a distance of 1 centimeter between two points on a map represent a distance of 1 kilometer. That is 1 lakh centimeter between them on the ground. Location places on the earth. An imaginary grid is used to pinpoint the location of any place on the earth. This grid is made up of imaginary lines called parallel of latitude and meridians of longitude. Latitudes measure distance north or south of the equator in degrees n or s. Longitudes measure distances east or west of the prime meridian in degree E or W. For example, the location of Delhi on the earth is latitude 28.38 degree north of the equator and latitude 28.38 degree north of the equator and longitude 77.12 degree east of the prime meridian. Symbols and Shades A simple coding system has been developed to represent the features shown on a map. Beside the conventional symbol, colors and shades are used to show certain features. For example, blue color is used for water bodies. You shall study symbols, colors and shades in higher classes. Now see the types of maps. Maps are usually classified on two bases, scales and features. Scale based classification. On the basis of scales, maps are of two types. First, small scale maps. When the area covered is large, such as on a map of a continent or country, we use a small scale map. It may have a scale with RE, one ratio, 10 lakh or 1 lakh such a map shows less details. Second is large scale maps. 
when the area covered is small such as on a map of province we use a large scale map it may have a scale of one ratio 50000 or one ratio 25000 such a map shows more details feature based classification on the basis of features shown or the aims and objectives of the map maker maps can be of the types given types of map features types of map political map feature states and national boundaries of a place location of cities and capitals physical map features of physical landscape like mountains rivers and lake topographical map use different colors like a physical map shows different physical features of landscape use contour lines to show changes in the landscape climate map show things like the specific climate zones of an area based on temperature the amount of snow an area receives or average number of cloudy days thematic maps focuses on a particular theme or special topic so the next one is elements of reading maps the main element of reading maps are title of the map which describes the theme of the map legend or key to inform the user what different symbols mean compass rows to indicate the cardinal directions north east south and west and their intermediate points scales to show the ratio between distances on the ground and on the map now see what are the advantages of maps maps are portable and can be carried around easily they can be laid on a surface and studded they can be scaled to see the whole world or just a town with the help of its legend symbols and colors you can see the different features of place maps make geography easier to learn now disadvantages of map maps distort the shape and size of landforms maps are two dimensional objects and do not portray elevation and reliefs and hills effectively entire earth can't be represented accurately on a map tools other than maps our ancestors had a keen interest in the study of stars planets and other celestial they were equally keen to explore the unknown lands on the earth they made use of falling tools in pursuit of their objectives astrolabe it is an instrument of taking latitude of the sun or star and for the solution of planets in astronomy it was used by greek astronomers from about 200 bc and by arab astronomers from the middle ages until suppressed by the sextant now see what is sextant it is a doubly reflecting navigation instrument used to measure the angle between any two visible objects. The principle of the instrument was first implemented around 1730 by John Hartley and Thomas Godfrey. Now see, Jacob's Staff. Jacob's Staff or Cross Staff is a stick on pole with length markings. Its most frequent use was made as a device to measure angles. For example, the angles between the horizon and polaris or the sun to determine a ship's latitude. Magnetic compass. Magnetic compass is a navigational tool that uses magnetism. It has an arrow which points in the direction of the north magnetic pole. It is very useful for navigating on oceans and in desert or other places which have no landmarks. The first compass was invented by ancient Chinese in Han Dynasty. Now children, it's time to look back. Maps, magnetic compass are tools for learning geography. Maps are drawn on flat surfaces according to a scale. 
a scale tells us the ratio between two points on the ground and their corresponding distance on the map. And the last one is maps are of different types depending on the features shown by them. So it's time to take your leave. Bye children.